And welcome to the Southwest Airlines Intermission Report. John Saunders alongside of Barry Melrose. The second period still to come, but let's break down the East starting tonight. Ottawa against the New York Islanders. And in this one, Ottawa comes in as the number one seed overall in the National Hockey League. An outstanding record. However, it is playoff time. And this has been a team that struggles in the playoffs. And this is a guy, Alexei Yash, and they didn't want to play very well in Ottawa after he got out of there. Some good goaltending early on. And they're going to have to have good goaltending. Gar Snow's going to have to be spectacular because Ottawa is a much more talented team offensively. Scatcher, best player offensively all year long. Gets maybe a lucky goal, but you throw it at the net in case he's cheating. He was cheating there, John. And right now it stands a 1-0 lead for the Islanders. And then another that's, one. Yashin that's scores gotta on the hurt. Who does it? That's got to hurt. The last guy that oh, wants to score. Exactly. You do not want Alexander Yashin to score a goal in Ottawa. Well, as we look at this game, Barry, the centers is okay, it's game one, it's one period of the 2003 playoffs. But this is a team that's been successful in the regular season before and done poorly in the playoffs. Can it happen again? Yeah, it can happen again if they play like they did in the first period. They put no pucks to the net, they were all shot badly, they were all worked badly. Ottawa's a better team now. They've got more depth offensively, they got 40 goal scorers, 30 goal scorers, they got a great defensive system, they got defensemen who can jump into the play. The Leans numbers are as good as anybody in the NHL. Meanwhile, the Islanders back into the playoffs. They only won six games out of the last 20, but they're out working the Ottawa Senators and they're out top of the Ottawa Senators. Ottawa's got to decide if they want to just become one of these teams that are good during the regular season, but do not have the guts or the physical presence to win again in the playoffs. It's an entirely different game come playoff time, and Ottawa ain't playing that game. You're right, especially against an Islanders team. The only reason they're in the playoffs yeah, is because the, the New were York bad. Rangers were worse. Let's move to the Bruins and the Devils it's touched now. up for an icing call. Let's check in again with John Saunders. John. Things are coming apart for the team with the best record during the regular season. Senators already down 2 nothing. Bates is going to be parked in the slot. The shot comes from the point. Great deflection up over the shoulder for the goal. This your Bud Light update, and the Islanders have a 3 0 lead. We'll be cracking open Bud Lights in Long Island pretty soon. Wow. Pat Quinn. Come. Meanwhile, elsewhere tonight, the Ottawa Senators, the President's Trophy champions, again headed to the playoffs. And again, would they struggle? Not this year. Alexei Yashin was gone to the Islanders, so couldn't be his fault. Snow had to be hot early on in the game. A couple of turnovers right there. Another big save. Still in the first. Skatcher just throws this towards the net. Well, Aleem is uh, one of the best goaltenders in the NHL. His number is as good as Marty Brodeur, but he cheats there off the post. Skatcher has been unbelievable all season long. Watch this play. Oh, no, he can't score a goal in Ottawa. Yashin gets an open net goal. Yashin played very hard this game so far. And then Bates. Watch him just get the stick on the puck, redirect it. And his pass to Lame, and just like that, he's a three to nothing lead. We are talking about the Senators, who have the best record in the NHL, and the Islanders, who quite simply back into the playoff there. Well, we have a saying again in hockey called uh, "will overcome skill," and right now it's the will of the New York Islanders. They're winning all the physical battles. They're winning all the loose puck battles. Snow is out playing the Lame at the other end of the rink, and right now the Islanders want it more. The Islanders won six games out of the last 20. They were not playing well going in the playoffs, but Ottawa is a different team tonight. There's no five. There's no passion. They look hesitant. This team's got more pressure on them than anybody else because if they lose not only this series but the Stanley Cup, they didn't get the Stanley Cup. This team is underachieved big time. Well, the other thing about this team is that when they pick up the papers tomorrow, if they lose, they're going to be reading about the history of the franchise and where they have folded in the playoffs again, and that pressure gets stronger. And don't forget, uh, the, the next game isn't even sold out. That says a lot for the people in Ottawa. You can't even sell out after you win the President's Trophy. So, uh, yeah, this team, uh, if, they, if they lose this game, which it looks like they will, they're going to be big pressure tomorrow night. The papers. They need to show some fire in yeah. the third period to get oh, past they care that. a little bit. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't look like they do. The Bruins, meanwhile,